Welcome to Let's Check Out Goof Troop for SNES. Yeah, I never played this one. I think I heard of it a long time ago, but I never got to play this game until now. It's from Capcom. That's a good sign. It's a demo screen here. What was that game that AVGM was playing on the CD32? Where if you, pa you, you can't skip the demo, you can only pause it. I think it was Putty. Jeez, I'm glad it's not like this on here. Because you can skip the demo anytime. I just wanted to see the demo real quick. I love the cartoon Goo Troop. Goo Troop was a great cartoon that I haven't seen in like 20 plus years. But never got to play this game. I don't know if there's any other Goo Troop games out there. Someone could probably tell me. But I did love the cartoon. Spoonerville. I guess that was the name of where they lived at. I totally forgot that. There's Max. But is this game awesome to the Max? There's uh, I think PJ and that douchebag father of his. Whoa, pirate ship. Oh, yuck, what is that? A pirate ship? Oh, yuck. Pete and PJ, yeah. That's right, Pete was a douche. Well, I guess this game is pirated. Alright, well, since I'm playing alone, I'm going to just pick Goofy with one player. Island map, alright. BCW! Oh, this music. I don't know if I like this music yet. But look now, I'm on. Are we in Jamaica? Mike Adam Lee. Jamaica me crazy! Alright, so there's Raven Specter and some of his goofy pirate friends over there. Alright, so let me see what I'm supposed to do here. This looks like some sort of overhead puzzle type game. What is Goofy doing? I guess he's supposed to pick something up right there, but he has nothing in his hands. Ooh, pwned. I guess those cherries, bananas, and diamonds, or whatever they are over there, are good things to get. Ooh, kicked him out of the way. Nice. Easy w Oh, oh, that was stupid. Oh, that was stupid, too. I can't kick it when there's something in the way. Oh! Ouch. There we go. Now what? Come at me now. Uh. Okay, well, how do I... Hold on a second here. Oh, yuck! Which way do I go? Oh, yuck! Oh, yuck! Alright, there we go. Well, I got one of the bananas. Alright, what do I do next here? I'm not picking up anything, so what? Put your hands down. This looks like the beach of uh, that area in Oracle Seasons. Alright, cherries to replenish my health. Ooh, look at that. Was that a grappling gun over there? You know, Spoonerville Island used to be a safe place until oh, Key Hall Pete got out of that whale. Huh. Oh, whale! Got the grappling gun or wherever that is. Oh shoot, watch out. Why do you select the weapon? Oh, I think I already have it. Select it, dot. Ah, oh, there we go. Alright. Ooh, oh, it's a stun gun. Okay. It stuns him. The stun gun. I'm playing a stunning Steve Austin here. Oh, that rings a bell. Somebody press start and join me. Nice, I can pick up rocks here and just throw them off the screen. Ooh, a cherry. ECW! Well, come here, let me 
There. Ooh, oh man, he got owned big time. Oh shoot, snakes. So this reminds me of the Star Tropics here. Whoa, a wasp. Get out of here, wasp. Alright, I got this. Ah, there we go, nice. When all the stars align, I'm gonna go over here. Oh, some hedgehogs, and not Sonic. AVGM will say, it's not quite Sonic. Evil hedgehogs. Ah, fail. Success. All right, gotta somehow unlock that gate, that fence. That's another grappling gun. I don't think I need it though. I don't think you can carry more than one. Oh, nice. Well, I thought maybe killing all the enemies on the screen would unlock the door. I guess not. Maybe I need a key. This don't have a lock though. If I oh, duh, I did that already. I thought I had to kill the wasp or something to, or whatever the heck that is to open the door. Oh, oh, shovel knight for SNES. Oh, cool. Maybe I'll find a pirated item. If I get over there, guess I gotta go around. Gotta leave this area here. Oh wait. Duh. There we go right there. There we go. All right, now let's do some digging. Can you dig it, sucker? Dig it. Oh, yeah. Nice. Come on, use your shovel. There you go. I feel like I'm playing a link to the past here. What am I looking for? What, what are you doing? Use your shovel. There you go. He's waving his hands up and down. How do I dig the oh, oh, yuck? Can you dig it? Well, he can't. Come on. He's digging your own grave here, wasting time. Oh, you can dig a second spot more than once. Okay. Oh, nice. Well, I don't know what those do. I guess give you points. Forget that. I'm not going to find anything. I mean, I probably missed an important item over there. There's plenty of places to dig, but I just want to check out this game real quick, not spend too much time on it. So, I mean, I might not get far at all in this game. Just probably a quick glimpse as to what this game is. I'm curious to check it out. Okay, uh, man, that guy's everywhere. What do you want, dude? Oh, I guess that looks like a little wooden plank. Is this supposed to be a little raft to help me cross here? Oh no, when I get over there, I see a gap right there in the little, on the boardwalk right there. I guess I need to go around and find another path to get over there. I remember the episode of Goofy Street where Pete posed as Goofy because Goofy won a prize or something. So Pete posed as him. And it's obvious it wasn't him. You can tell it's Pete. He wore a Goofy mask and started talking. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. It's me, Goofy. I'm the winner of the prize. Oh, yuck. Oh, yuck. He was like a douchebag RV salesman. I bet you he screwed over everybody he sold RV to. Pete was pretty cool. Max. Pete had a wife, too. I don't forgot her name, but I don't know why she'd be married to a douche like that. I know there's a... Common saying, I don't know if it's common misconception or what, but they say a lot of women like douchebags. Maybe she likes, <laughs> that's why she likes Pete, I don't know. But anyway, after playing this game though, it makes me want to go back and find some stuff on YouTube if I can, of some Goo Troop clips or something, that'd be pretty cool. I used to watch that alongside other cartoons after school like DuckTales and Beetlejuice. I mean, Tiny Teen Adventures. Okay, I'm back here to square one again. I'm, oh man, I'm probably going to die right here because I'm... Like, totally lost. Oh, wait. That's all my life. I should be dead. How am I still alive? I guess it's one of those games where even though you lose all your life, 
Like a street fighter, if you're out of life, then one more hit and you're dead. Well, all right, there I go. I've got some some of my energy back up a little bit. I'm going in circles here because I've back to square one. I really don't know what to do. Just desperate over here. Just oh yuck! What do I do? Oh yuck! Throw my hands in the air. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to do. <laughs> what do you? What say you watching out there? Oh yuck! All right, you know what? I forgot to go over here. Oh yuck! Okay, so if I kill all these enemies, will it open that fence right there? Yes, nice. All right. Oh, well, hold on. Let me see if I want to get this. I want to get the grappling gun. Nah, you know what? Probably not right now. Grappling gun or whatever the heck it's supposed to be. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. All right. If I. Oh yeah, that does work. All right, nice. Use the plank for that boardwalk. Whoa! Whoa! What did that do? Was did I need that bird for a reason or? I don't know. Guess we'll find out if I need that bird or not. Oh man, this is gonna be a lot of fun. These fat guys here look like Pete Rejects. And no surprise, they're douchebags too. Alright, so... Oh, great. A little puzzle here I gotta figure out. Alright, well, let me see how long this is gonna take to for me to figure this out. Ah, look at that. I failed already. I want to see... I know I got to leave this room and try again, but I'm going to just kick these things around here to help me figure this out for when I start over. Yeah, and that's fell right there too. Jeez. Alright, let's see if I can get this right the second time. There's somebody watching right now. Nope. Nope. You done messed up already. Nope. Oh, yuck. I probably did. Yeah, I did. Oh, idiot. Dang, I'm more goofier than Goofy is. Third time be a charm. Looks like not. Dang it, fail. Well, almost had it. Dang, man. All right. Come on. Four time be a charm. Feels like I'm playing Zelda right here. Oracle of Ages. Alright, nice. That sound effect of the fence blowing up right there. That sounded like, uh... I mean, this is Capcom. Think about it. That sounded like the sound effect. When you destroy or when that, uh... That giant worm underneath, uh... Launch Octopus's stage is coming up through the ground. I think that's the same sound effect. That's pretty cool. Whoa, purple frog over there. Looks like the... Little... Tiny uh, reptile, whatever it is you ride in, Little Nemo the Dream Master. Another Capcom game. Hmm. Coincidence? Oh, yuck! Alright, here we go. Progress! Move out of the way, douchebags. Alright, here we go. I need to go to the left here. I skip would say, go all the way to the left now. Not like that, you idiots. You got to use that thing to open up the left gate by putting it in its slot. There we go. Get past the little emo hedgehogs here again and 
So the the other enemies I said look like a Pete rejects. These enemies I just destroyed just now look like Max rejects. Then that's or Goofy rejects rather. It's weird. Whoa! Watch out! He almost got me. All right, so yeah, I did a quick cut right there because had to go back and I forgot to go over here next. Now that wasp missed me. And this is the next key I need to get. And oh, jeez. Another puzzle. Let's see how many tries it's going to take to me to get this. So far, so good. Whoa. Well, I got it right the first time. Thank God. Wow. Now I got the big key. I made an Oracle of Ages reference earlier. That's another Capcom, uh, what was that? What would you call it? They helped develop it or did something with the Oracle games. I forgot. A lot of Capcom references in this game, of course. Okay, I'm trying to switch items up there. I, I'm hitting X, I hit X, B, A, Y, and that's weird. I just can't toggle between them. That's weird. I think the, I think the bell is supposed to get the enemy's attention. That's weird. How do you? I'm hitting all the buttons here, and it's not toggling, like. Taking the highlight off the key and highlighting on the bell. I need to be saved by the bell right now. And that's what Goofy did. He goes, time out, pause the game, trying to think of a plan, just like Zach Morris would. Fail. Jeez, that's right, I have no more energy. Oh, man. Down to six lives now. Whoa, almost a five right there. Oh, that's right. Super Nintendo controllers also have buttons at the top called L and R. Oh, yuck! Oh, no. Oh, yes. Come on, man. Aw, oh, man, I gotta leave. Come back. Well, now that I know how to use the bell here, now that I know how to toggle between the items correctly... Didn't I do that earlier in the game? I don't even remember. I just... Jeez, man. I think when you play this game, you have the mind of Goofy. I feel like an idiot. All right. Should have played as Max. Does it say by the bell reference right there? The Max? Bell? The Max? Huh. Any correlation? No, because Capcom didn't create Say by the Bell. Imagine if Capcom did create Say by the Bell. Saved by the Bell Tournament Fighters by Capcom. Oh, that'd be ECW. All right, here we go. And well, what is this? Boss battle? Fight Groundhogs? Groundhog Day has passed. Oh, we will smash you. We will crush. We will bash. We'll make you mine. Crush, bash, smush, smush, smush. What? Super Smush Brothers. Um. All right, here we go. Fail already. Jeez, man, I'm oh, I got extra life right there. Whoa. Oh man, we have nothing else to throw at him. Oh. What ouch! Well can you catch those items and throw it back at them? I don't know if you catch the spikes and, and the, the spike balls and the bombs. St. Mario 2. Ouch. Oh, well, maybe if Goofy will hold his hands up to catch some. Oh, well, you can't catch him when he's on the ground. Oh. There we go. Dez caught it. Man, 
this is kind of tricky. I don't want to hold on to the bombs too long because they blow up. Oh man, one more life. There we go. Come on. Nice. Now hold your hands up, you idiot! Oh, that was cheap. You see that? That was a good strategy, though. Dang it, game over. <sighs> I got stuff all over. I don't want to do all that all over again. I had no password either. Well, that's the first level. All right, so after going through all that again, here I am. Quick cut to here. Round two. Nice catch. Oh. Goofy is the bomb. Ouch. Dang, man, they... You gotta hit him fast. Pwned. And now that I remember to keep my hands up to catch the items, this is much easier. Oh, right in his face. Oh, man. Overshot. Oh, nice. One more. Nice. All right. Finally, the first level clear. And there's a password, but this is where I'm going to stop. I done checked out the first part of this game, and there we go. All right, so... Goof Troop doesn't seem like a bad puzzle type game. The soundtrack could be better, but then again, this is the first part of the game. I haven't heard the rest of the game, and it is Capcom, so it might be pretty ECW if I were to play it some more. So I may play it some more again in the future. So far off the top of my head, I give it a 7 out of 10. It doesn't seem like a bad puzzle type game. I don't think you ever heard of this game back then. You know, kind of surprised. Maybe it actually isn't that good, so I don't know. Uh, but, I mean, I can't really judge it that much yet. Just this is, this is just a first impression, so who knows. If I don't play it, maybe I'll check out a full playthrough of it on YouTube and see what the rest of the game looks and sounds like. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. I am out of here. I'm Ron Moore. God bless and take care.